China today summoned the U.S. ambassador to Beijing to express its anger at President Trump. Yesterday, the president signed two bipartisan bills supporting human rights in Hong Kong and the pro-democracy protesters there. Well, tonight in Hong Kong, thousands of people staged a rally to thank the United States. North Korean dictator Kim Jong-un tonight is expressing, quote, great satisfaction following the launch of two short-range ballistic missiles and the system used to fire them. North Korea released this picture of Kim, who oversaw the test earlier today. The news proved unsettling to the U.S. and its allies. Ramey Inocencio is in Seoul, South Korea tonight. As Americans woke up for Thanksgiving, more provocation from North Korea. It came in the form of two projectiles. North Korea said it successfully tested a super large multiple rocket launcher, reaching an estimated height of 60 miles. They traveled up to 230 miles before crashing into the waters off Japan's west coast. South Korea's Joint Chiefs of Staff responded by urging the North to cease all acts of aggression. Japanese Prime Minister Shinzo Abe referred to them as ballistic missiles, which presents a serious threat to the entire world. On Monday, state media reported that North Korean troops had conducted artillery drills near the country's sea boundary with the South. In recent weeks, North Korea has ramped up its displays of military force while warning the United States that a crisis could be at hand if a new nuclear deal isn't reached by December 31st. North Korea's economy has been struggling since the U.S. imposed sanctions over the country's nuclear program. But talks between the two countries have been stalled since February, when President Trump rejected North Korea's demands that U.S. imposed sanctions be removed. Since then, the messages sent from Pyongyang have been loud and clear. The Trump administration has yet to respond to North Korea's December 31st deadline, but the State Department is aware of this latest launch and is monitoring the situation with its regional allies. David? Thank you, Ramey.